how to dance lambada. So lambada consists with the three steps. So let's try it together. We're gonna do three steps in place and we're gonna call them step one, step two, and step three. So let's repeat again. We go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, there is very little secret how to make lambada look very characteristic for this dance. On step number three, as we step, we're gonna slightly lift our free leg and send our hip slightly to the side. So we're going one, two, three. So on the three, we elevate, we're going up and lifting our free leg, releasing our uh, free leg. Now on one, two, slightly, we're gonna go down. Very slight feeling going down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I want you to just focus on my legs to do that step correctly. So we have from the right leg, we step one. From the left leg, we step two. Now from the right leg, we step three. And we slightly elevate, straightening our knees, releasing our leg, sending our hip to the side. Let's do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, to make lambada look lambada, of course, we want to have body action, hip action. In order for your hip to create that beautiful movement, Latin movement, we want to slightly soften our knees. And as we straightening our knees, and we're not going to raise our head, the hip will react to your step. So together with the step, you can add this hip action. And remember, on the third step, we will release our free leg. One, two, three. One, two, three. How high, how little you lift your leg depends on the music and your personal style. So now, music lambada is pretty fast. So try to not do too big of a step. Stay as compact as, compact as you can and use action in your body. So I'll count a little bit faster. We go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's do that step from reverse angle one more time. So we're focusing on our right leg. We have one, step one, we have step two. Now on step three, we step and releasing our free leg. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I want you to focus on my legs for now, just only legs. So take a look at the step, how compact it is. So we step one, we step two. Now as we step three, like there is a force pushing us up, and we're releasing our free leg. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now remember, music is pretty fast, so we try to count a little bit faster and stay compact and using our hip and bodies. So we go from the right leg. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, we learn how to dance step, dance solo. Let's try it together. So normally Lombardo we dance in a closed hole position. So my arm going around my partner, resting on her shoulder blade, her hand is resting on me. Now we don't want to have this ballroom too high, too wide, but we don't want to be too down. So a medium size hold. Ideally we stay very, very close to each other. But now for demonstration, I'll have a little bit of space between us. Now, I like to start from this count three, from the release. Therefore, my partner knows that I'm about to step, uh, start my step. So we release going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, for leaders, we try almost like squeeze our partner slightly, like she's in a box, and she tried to open us. So we stabilize her upper body and like a wave feeling try to send energy into her hip, into her skirt, to make that beautiful lambada movement. So this is lambada, basic step.